Close your eyes and watch your breath. All the way in, all the way out. Try to commit yourself to this. In other words, whatever other thoughts come along right now, you're not going to get interested. Good, bad, indifferent, whatever. You're going to stick with this one thing. This is what the Buddha calls being committed to the heightened mind. In other words, you raise your mind above its ordinary level. Its ordinary level is just a catch hold of whatever comes past. Look it over and decide whether to go with it. You go from one thought to the next to the next. If you were to draw a map of where your thoughts have gone in the past hour, it'd be all over the place. So we're going to give that up now. It requires some renunciation to do this well. In other words, you realize that certain things you've got to give up if you want to get something better. That, the Buddha said, is a sign of a wise person. So you commit yourself here. You're going to stay with the breath. After all, it is your breath. It has a huge impact on your life. The way you breathe is going to affect your health. Your health is going to affect the state of your mind. So breathe in a good way and keep watch over it. As for other thoughts, they, they have their time and place, but not right now. Right now the time and place is to try to develop concentration, to develop this skill so you can have it to depend on. I guess concentration strengthens the mind so that when the body is weak, you're tired, you still have some inner resources and some good habits to carry you through. Otherwise you just go to the, whatever is the easiest way you want to find pleasure because you feel weak. So the concentration gives you strength. From the commitment comes strength. From the renunciation comes strength. So when the mind feels tempted to wander after something else, you say, no, I'm not going to go there. No matter how much I may be screaming at you and yelling at you, no matter how much the hormones may be racing in your ears, you say, nope, I'm not going to go there. And the breath gives you something to hold on to. In other words, if you commit yourself to the breath, the breath will be there for you. So try to stay right here. Show it that you mean business. Show it that you're really true. And when you're true to the breath, then the breath will be true for you. In other words, it'll be there to support you, to give you a sense of well-being, give you a sense of strength. Because you know its ins and outs. You've been with it for a long time. It's only through commitment that you can learn these things. You stick with it for five minutes and wander off where you don't learn much. You stick with it for an hour, you'll learn a lot more. And you develop good qualities in the mind as you learn how to stay here. So be loyal to your meditation. Be committed to your meditation. And it will repay your commitment. <laughs>